Okay, welcome to this video. We're going to have a quick look at trying to deploy our web um, RAD PHP application using XE2 to an Android device. So we've got a really simple application here. It's uh, got a, an M button and an M list, and the M list is hooked up to a query here. If we have a quick look, we can see here the query is just selecting everything from a categories table and joining it with the categories description so we can get the categories description in the language that we're choosing um, which we're using ID 1 uh, which is English from the data table so this is going to return back a list of categories with their English descriptions on the M list itself if we have a look we can see that the the query and the data source down here are linked into the uh, the M list by the data source and we have a look at the data mapping we can see that the ID field uh, is the, uh, the parent ID and we're picking up the base value of 0 to start with and we're going to show them the categories name and when we click on the category name on the selection in the list it's then going to get the categories ID as the new ID to populate into the base parent field value and that will enable us to drill down through the data If we just have a quick look at the um, form, we can see here that we've got um, use Ajax enabled on this form, and this is looping back to my IP address for my development machine at the moment. Obviously, when you deploy this, you put it as your full um, domain name, and it's linking back to unit1.php, uh, which is the file that we're running here. So if we actually just disable the use Ajax for a moment and run this, we'll be able to see it running through a normal web browser and here we can see our list has been populated with the data and we can click on it and it will drill into the next page and so on. Now the data only has two levels in here so when we get back to the bottom we can just go back up and maybe choose something else. So all the nice smooth transaction transitions are provided by uh, mobile jQuery. And now let's go and turn user Ajax on. I'm just going to save that here. And using the new option through the tools wizard for phone gap. I'm going to say let's run this out as an Android device. And we give it a project name. We can choose then specific icons that we want to use uh, for deployment through the App Store and on the device. I'm just going to keep with the default Embarcadero one. And we can choose a folder that we want to export this out to. So let's see if we have uh, C temp. So it's now gone and completed the export out. So if we go and have a look at our folder. We can see in here we've now got an Android project that's been produced out for us. Okay, so the next thing I need to choose is to choose the simulator I want to run. So I'm going to choose the Android 2.1 um, simulator. Now we can see it sending out to the simulator. And now as we unlock our device, the application will launch automatically. And you can see that probably running off in the background here that it's actually successfully deployed and it's now launching up. Now here we have our native application as a package running on the Android device.